Good morning and welcome to the very first proper car video on the channel, specifically part of the roving around, rovering around learning how to drive, I suppose. So I had my first lesson uh, about an hour ago, I just finished, and I learned quite a, a great deal from my instructor, particularly surrounding this blasted accelerator of mine. So as you have seen before, I, I own a Rover 45 Club SE. Uh, and in the year of 2004, I'm sure that this accelerator was working perfectly fine. However, after my lesson today, that it has become very apparent that it's not. So let me just let me just talk you through it. So in theory, uh, this should, you know, it moves all the way forward. That's fine. That's not a problem. However, it's incredibly incredibly stiff let me uh oh hello it looks as though the carpet's come up underneath it there we go right there we go that's properly working now so let me just turn the engine on and i'll explain what i mean okay so in theory the rpms should be at zero they're not in fact they're absolutely perfect for setting off so if i was to uh get it into gear and set off, looking at the rev counter, I shouldn't have to, to use the accelerator at all. So I'm just going to put my foot very lightly, I'm not even going to attempt to move it. Look what happens to the rev counter? Already we're accelerating massively. Now my instructor has a 1.4 engine, I have a 1.6, so naturally there will be some differences in power. If I just rest my foot, it doesn't move for a few seconds and then starts to do this. It starts to accelerate massively. So, what do we conclude from this, uh, this little experiment? Well, in my instructor's car, it works properly. It's a very new car. It's, I say it's very new, it's probably about mid-2010, so it's not that old. But at least the accelerator works properly. It's nice and smooth, honestly. The first time I put my foot down on the pedal, it just went. I was utterly, utterly astonished. Same with the uh, the steering wheel. When I had to reverse onto somebody's drive and come out the, uh, the going the opposite way, the, in, the amount of steering I could do was absolutely incredible. I had no idea. Uh, because I was only used to this really, it's got powered steering, but it's not brilliant. It is uh, almost 18 years old. And now, if I just, listen, no pressure, tiniest bit of pressure, not even moving, and we're up to 2,000. Utterly, utterly ridiculous power. Is that a problem with the accelerator? Is that a problem with the dial? Is there a different problem that I, I can't think of? Who knows? What can you take away from this? Um, if your pedal flaps around like mad, and you can just it's there's no push at all there's no there's no give no give if there's a lot of give then it works fine if you're struggling to even move it down and get it to move even if it wasn't at zero then there's something going wrong there in fact when this went in for a service back in back in mid june early july last year um, we made a point that the accelerator was incredibly stiff and they said that at the moment there was nothing they could do about it. So, if you can get something done about it, do. The uh, clutch is alright. clutch is fine actually. I am doing this in different shoes. I chose some very well-fitting shoes for my, for my uh, lesson. Right now I'm wearing sort of black ankle boots, which are brilliant, but they are a little on the uh, loose side. The uh, brake works fine, no problem there, although the brake pads themselves are incredibly squeaky. Uh, and looking at the camera, this is a pretty nice POV, although if I had to do this, you could actually see everybody in the car. So I imagine when we go out on proper rover adventures, we go rovering around, ideally this will be the POV that you see. Uh, for those of you wondering, yes, this is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway logo. In fact, I've got quite a few on my dungarees. This is my sort of my work outfit, so I've got my D12, I think, there. And my Rover badge. Of course, it had to be a Rover. What else would I have bought? Of course, it doesn't match the uh, the Rover emblem here. Anyway, uh, I hope you've learned something from this. 
uh, my takeaway lesson would be check your accelerator before you learn to drive if you've already got a car check the accelerator see how smooth it is and be prepared if it isn't especially if it isn't for it to be really really easy because I was not prepared and don't feel afraid of this this is good if it was barely moving at all and you were moving a lot that would be terrible thank you for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed uh, getting to know my car a bit better I'm gonna head inside and finish my cake this is a bit of a uniced Christmas cake we didn't have time to do it this year hmm lovely oh I'll see you on this on this side of the channel after my next lesson That was a slip, slip of the foot. I'm really struggling to press down here. That is not smooth. <laughs>